everyone. My name is Norman Abrian. This is episode four, part one from a series on getting started with Java, Oracle JDBC, and the Oracle database. In this episode, we will talk about the new JSON data type. JSON is one of the most commonly used formats for storing and transporting data across services and applications. On the right, you can see an example of what JSON looks like. Uh, it supports different types of data and a structure you can define for yourself. The JSON data type is the native and optimized binary storage format for storing and processing JSON data. With JSON, we can take advantage of faster performance, uh, more flexibility around unstructured data. We get the ability to combine relational and JSON together, the useful built-in functions, some of which we will discuss in a bit with some examples. In this next slide, we have an image on the right that shows our database table of products, which has the new JSON column, and also the different ways to do the same using Vartra2, Blob, or Clob, which you might be more familiar with for storing JSON data in versions before 21C. Next, we have the tables and data in our database. Feel free to pause the video here and use this as reference for some of the examples ahead. All right, so here's our Java application. Note that we will only go through some of these examples in this episode. However, we will share the link to the GitHub repository so you can take a closer look. So for our first example here, we have a prepared statement with a simple query for our JSON column, product information. Uh, then I am retrieving the cursor and looping through it. Then I'm simply using the built-in function get object to retrieve the value and convert it into a string. And then finally, I'm printing it out. So if I run this function, it should retrieve all three uh, records from our products table. Now, in this next example, we're using dot notation to access attributes in our JSON. In this case, if the author attribute does not exist, we will receive a null value in our Java code. What is interesting about this is that we can use the dot notation as well in our where clause. You can see this demonstrated in read JSON examples D, E, and F. Now, since we are missing the author attribute for one record, we will see that one record comes back with a null value. Next up, we have one of our two right examples. Here we are showing the creation of a new Oracle JSON factory and a new Oracle JSON object. Below that is the important part where we are calling put um, the function to add new attributes to it like a map. Then we simply insert the whole thing as Oracle type JSON. The rest here may seem familiar. So let's try to run this function. And now we should have four records in our products table. Next, we have our update JSON examples. In this first example, we are updating the whole document. The first part of the function is just retrieving the record and storing the result into an Oracle JSON object called product. Uh, what is important to note here is that we are initializing a new object with product. With that, we can now update the stock attribute by subtracting a purchase count of one. In our update statement, we are setting the entire column to our bind variable, which will be the updated product. So if you run this function, it should give us a stock of four for the first record. In this example, we're using the JSON transform function, which is a function for modifying JSON documents. Looking at the square that we have here, um, after our set statement, you can see we are using the dot notation as well to update specific attributes. In this case, we are updating stock to um, the current stock number, and then we're adding a by we're adding the value of bind variable number one. Um, which is 10. So in this case, it would be 14. If you run this function, it should give us 14. In our final example here, we are using the function JSON merge patch to update the product with product ID 2. This function lets us merge our changes in. This is different from example A in that we create a new object um, that we want to use to update with. In our new object, we are adding a new attribute. We are uh, updating the stock attribute and we are removing the author attribute. So once we run this, function, you will see that our second record here will be updated. Let's take a look at the update statement here. Inside JSON merge patch, we are passing the product information column and the bind variable with our new object, product update as value. All right, besides the data type, there's also the autonomous JSON database. It is a cloud document database service tailored for JSON workloads and JSON-centric applications. It also features NoSQL style document APIs along with full Oracle SQL support. So you can still combine it two and more. Also earlier this year, we have in general availability, the Oracle database APIs from MongoDB. This enables you to continue working with MongoDB open source tools and drivers, which means you potentially do not have to change your current code, but only your connection details or string. With that, we will be concluding this episode. If you would like to learn more about what I mentioned in this video, you can pause now and definitely check out the following links in this slide. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.